Hello, Randall Monk and Rhonda Zane here with a gem of wisdom. Okay. So, you've talked a lot about holograms, and uh, some people are probably thinking, yeah, I've seen that on Star Wars and stuff <laughs> like that, you know. So, can you explain a little bit about a hologram and what it is from our perspective, uh, metaphysically? And it's more and more important now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. okay. Uh, mm. First of all, the, the, the big aha for me was when uh, Archangel Michael said, you're not ascending on, it is not a linear path that you're going forward in the future in time. You are on a spiral. You're going back to the past, healing the past as you spiral upward, outward into the future. And in, like in the Bible, it talks about um, you are affected by seven generations of your ancestors. And so, as we understand the good things as well as the negative things and so on. And so, okay, if we're going back to the past and all this healing and changing and frequency patterns that we're clearing and we're healing the past going into the future, that can't be because it would be totally chaotic. Everybody's changing everything. Oh, be, there's no structure there. How can that be? And so then I got this picture. This, this telepathic communication that about the hologram that you, the holograms like we get from our soul self it comes it's like a hologram and a facet of your soul self well the holograms of our past lives are in our DNA and so you go into each one of those at each level and however past you know however and as they say seven generations okay that's a good number so you go within that hologram and you begin the healing. You take the healing energy there and you heal your part of it, which and then it begins the process there. It plants the seeds for the healing of that mm. hologram. And once the connection is made, all of the energy that you get filters through your bloodstream throughout or your whole physical vessel, etherically, your or field, down into your DNA. Mm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And so from there on, then I began to get all these pictures mm -hmm. about the holograms. And Brandy and I, we worked on it quite a while. It was pretty, pretty difficult to get everything in there, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. We managed, though. <laughs> yes, we did manage. And so, so here's mm -hmm. this, and, and the hologram, the way it's situated, here's this big circle, and it's like an ashram or classes. Here is the outer, the beginning. And you move forward into those levels towards the center. Here is the core. Here is the God seed atom, the core of it. And once you get up here and you're ready to move out of it, you're complete in that hologram, you go, it's like they call it a black hole in the galaxy or something. You go to that center and to the next higher level. That means that you have finished with whomever, all the people, everything within that hologram, and all the, and this is the lower, and the higher you go toward the center, that's when your frequency is there. And so here, when you're born, when you're born, you come into this family as a fetus, you are in a hologram with your divine blueprint. Everything's there, ready to burst forth at the appropriate time. So you have a family hologram. You have a race hologram. You have a culture hologram. You have a look like us, wherever you, wherever you're born, in the United States, wherever you're born, you're in that hologram. We're in the United States hologram. We're in the North America hologram, and it continues out to the world hologram. And when you get, met, when you have a relationship, especially a sexual relationship, if everybody knew this. If everybody, everybody knew this, it'd make them stop and think. With, with the, the, the uh, promiscuity has become so rampant. Every time you have sexual relationships with another person, you take on some of the negative, you take on whatever, you act, what you say, you increase the negativity at that level from that person within your hologram. Couldn't it be the positive too, though? Okay. Both. Yeah. yeah. Both. So, yeah. Both. Mm -hmm. you, like I say, the level you take it on, you, and, and so so uh, 
I could say, mm -hmm. as you move right now, so here we are in the U.S. and all this going on. Uh, that's why we say we're in the world but not of it, because our hologram is at that, but our personal hologram within that hologram is not at the level where all this negativity is going on. We're walking between the worlds. We're there because we have a job to do. But you yeah, and so we, as just the ascension, as moving through those whatever third dimensional frequencies you have to clear, the fourth, and then as we get up those null zones and we work through that, harmonize and come to center so that we, because you become a much more, uh, like, you might come, everything manifests faster. Just you can see everything's moving so fast. And so unless we learn to come to center and begin to harmonize, stay neutral, rise above everything so that we're not caught up in the negativity. That's why you're saying you're to be an observer, you to be an observer and be a compassionate observer, but not get into the sympathy or the empathy or the 340 emotions where the people are taxing to enter into your cords to your solar plexus. Because whatever frequencies that you have that are compatible with the people around you, those are still going to affect you. And so this hologram, this whole situation, it makes everything so simple. Simple but complex. And so recently, we had had quite a right, some rites of passage here locally with Light Station and all the, the group that's a lot of people. How many, six or seven different people have come here to stay because because of, mm -hmm. of, of mm -hmm. us, our, our, yeah, our fam yeah. soul family drawing them. Mm -hmm. the, the, the soul song going out mm -hmm. and, and they mm -hmm. moved here. Mm -hmm. And so that's another indication of, you know, hey, y'all come, we're ready for you, you know. And so during that time, it stirred up quite a bit of stuff because it pushed a lot of people's buttons. It was a lesson and a blessing. And so now we are still in that hologram there, and there is a theme for that, and it seems to be focused on the indigenous people, and we'll talk more about that later. But out of that is, there are now several, I, I have a hologram, over, a, a new hologram, that is my uh, fifth dimensional one with the Ascended Masters and so on, Randy and I, and, and, and our Metatronic uh, uh, counterpart is in there, and I have several other holograms with other people. So you see how it's working? And you see the opportunities? How, uh, how often have you experienced people you've known forever, and all of a sudden you have nothing in common anymore? And it seems like, you know, there's nothing to say, nothing to do. You have finished with a hologram. Are you in a relationship? Are you in a job? That really bothers you, that does not fit you anymore, that you're not, it, it brings you no joy. Michael said, find what is your passion and make that your job, and you'll never have to work another day. But if you're in those situations that are more lessons than blessings, change your attitude. Begin to see the best in the people around you. You don't have to like them, but you can send love to their soul. Return to neutral. Do the very best that you can. See them in a different light. Understand that all we all are at different levels. And I have another, I have another good part of that. That uh, I won't go through the whole thing, but later on it'll be available either on my web, my new website where there will be a public site, and, and for people to go, and there'll be a lot of the lessons and a lot of various things, and then there will also be a paid section which will be the higher wisdom teachings that I am getting now. And so, but a lot of these things, uh, if you want classes for them and so on, um, will be, won't you? <laughs> 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 but but they, they're going to create some new, more exciting mm. things in the future. And so stay tuned, and uh, we'll, be, we'll be talking about it more. But we have this article, Soul Age Characteristics. And it talks about of a person and of a culture. So, so uh, baby soul, uh, awkward, innocent, unsophisticated. Uh, uh, okay, simple life, nomadic, tribal, connected to nature, leaves few artifacts, and uh, develops and evolves. This is uh, 
baby souls, that was it, that was infant souls, develops and follows rules, begins began civilization, respects leaders, family centered, stable communities, conventional, rigid, and intolerant. And then there's young souls, and it explains those mature souls, creative, emotional, open, cooperative, egalitarian, higher creativity, ethic. I can't hardly see it. If I can, you read that last one. This one. Okay, uh, this is old souls. They're relaxed individuals, they're spiritual, they're philosophical, and they're focused inward and upward. The culture is liberal, non judgmental, solves problems uniquely in harmony with nature, uh, in harmony with nature. They're dreamers, they have loose rules. Diverse infrastructure. So, can you see? Mm. I mean, oh, why we have to understand everybody's not going to be the same. We're not cooking in our lives. And we have to understand that they are where they are because of their soul age conditions, and we have to accept that. And But we have to set boundaries. And if, if we are supposed to cooperate, it will, you know, people come in our lives, as we know, for a lesson or a blessing. And that's happening an awful lot now. And so, but now we don't see them so much as lessons. We see them as challenges and opportunities. So it's all about your mindset. And so, what do you have to say about I'd that? I'd say that they're, they're, the lessons are lessons and the blessings are lessons. Yes. They're all lessons. Yes, that's true. Because uh, when they come into our life and it's a lesson, a challenge, then that's an opportunity, and it's kind of mirroring something to us that we need to look at. Yes. And when it comes is when they come into our life, and it's a blessing. It's affirming our something within us that we have because it doesn't. We're only that we're a mirror. They're a mirror. And they're just absolutely. mirroring back. Yeah. And remember, like my, they told me recently about pairs of opposites. Pairs of opposites that come in and have things to offer to unify the to joy like we are, mm -hmm. and pairs of opposites and like to have diverse talents and so on, mm -hmm. and pairs of opposites that mirror to each other what you need to accept because it's in you they're mirroring it to you. Mm, yeah. So there's positive and negative pairs of opposites. Yeah. And isn't that another good way to yeah, look at it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And so, and so. Uh, Boy, I just lost it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, though, the, our hologram is, um, it's easy to see what our hologram is. It's kind of like what people ask is, how can I tell how I'm doing? Um, Absolutely. We, you just look at, you can tell what your hologram looks like or is like by just, by your life experiences and the people in your life. And that that will give you that'll give you a bird's eye view of your hologram if you look at it that and way. And also the people you're drawing to you. Yeah, well, that's the people in your life. Yeah, right? no, yeah, no, yeah, no, exactly. Because and you're attracting. Okay. Yeah, what, what what you're attracting is yes. what you're vibrating at, and what you and your hologram is the essence of all that. And yeah. when it's like in a marriage, when they say you're married forever, isn't it too sad when people stay together forever when it is a totally negative environment and a negative. You know, there's nothing joyful. There's nothing. There's nothing yeah, positive yeah, about yeah. it. And and wouldn't mm -hmm. wouldn't it be wonderful? Uh, and in the ancient past, in, in like in Atlantis, uh, people were attuned, like in this great crystal room, with the harmonics and uh, mm -hmm. of the priests mm -hmm. and the priestesses. The, yeah. the priests would hold the thought form, and then they would they would tone and they it would activate like punching punching mm -hmm. in the program, mm -hmm. and it would attune them. Mm -hmm. And that was the way they healed. And that's some of the things we've been talking about about the future. Remember mm. we talking about that? Yeah, about yeah, the, yeah. the memory seed act of which the primes? Yeah. That was going to be like one of your jobs? Yeah. <laughs> so i got to get that on your resume. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So okay. anyway, um, <laughs> I guess that's about it. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that sounds good to me. It sounds good to me. Yeah. So uh, let us let us hear back from you. Let us know if you like what we're doing. I know you send the approval and the accolades and so on, but we want we want uh, we want feedback too, because um, 
uh, and maybe we'll take your advice and maybe we won't. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> we like to hear from yeah, you. Yeah, we do okay? like the feedback. Yes, yes, we do like the feedback. And so we'll be talking more about what we're going to be doing, future plans for Randy. My website, I'm so excited. I've got some, and I will, when I'm allowed, I can't now because it's very private for uh, one of the members of the new crew of the uh, life-changing event that Michael uh, absolutely orchestrated so that he would contact me. And so it is. it was a life change. It was something that he told me was going to happen. I didn't know how it was going to happen, but uh, it is awesome. And as a result, uh, we, we are stepping. We are stepping on a fast track uh, mm. ourselves. And, and mm. uh, the teachings are going to be mm. more... Um, before, it was step by step. You're past that, and so are we. Mm. And, and we have to move forward in what we teach with the frequencies. We need to train you so you can take our place where we are, because we're moving on up. <laughs> and so, are you ready? Because <laughs> we're going to be able to, we're going to give you the information. And uh, so, it's going to be your turn. So, in the meantime, um, we love you. We appreciate you. We feel, we feel your pain slightly, but most of we feel your love. Okay? We, under, we understand it, but we're not going to get pulled into it, are we? No. Okay. So, so anyway, Zio, Zio. <laughs> Much love and many blessings from our hearts to yours. Bye for now.